What's up guys, it's Eric, I'm in the studio. I thought I'd do a quick uh, quick bench video. And I got some footage uh, too from uh, from several different bashes. Uh, first of all, I got a personal best of 193 feet with the V4 Typhon on a long jump. Uh, my old record was 160. Um, and I had uh, uh, both Cratons out at the giant uh, rock pit, a uh, gravel pit. I was able to get out there, uh, sneak out there last weekend for a little bit. Um, I had a, a you know killer time for a short while. Uh, my receiver ended up going out in the in the six S uh, very early on. I'm not sure what happened. It just it just quit on me, and I tried every reset you know there was and relinking the transmitter. Nothing worked. So, oh power loss. Ooh. But anyway, I was able to uh, get a couple good launches with the 8S as well, just to get some further shock shaft testing, and they are holding up. I mean tremendously. Uh, way better than stock uh, so far. No, no, no big bends on them. You know, you know, despite the, uh, you know, the hard landings and airs. So a huge shout out to Mitch for that. So, uh, you know, we got a little more testing to go, and they, and they, if everything goes well, they should be on the market soon. You know, we'll keep you guys updated. First of all, I just want to show you the versatility of the, of the Typhon. Um, all three of these trucks are, are you know, are, are basically a Typhon. Uh, this is the V4. It is truckified, but still running buggy tires. Uh, you can go rally style, uh, street or you know, dirt, smooth dirt. Then this is my Mojave 5 Typhon. I did throw on some 3.8 Badlands. I do plan on giving that a rip uh, soon with these tires. Uh, that's why I put the Outcast diffs in it so that I could run, you know, the 3.8s, uh, you know, just to have that option. So, but it's just really cool. I mean, the Typhon, you can build just about anything out of it. You know, it's the perfect little platform. So, but anyway, <laughs> but anyway, uh, this car, I'm not going to go into detail with it right now. Uh, it's not completely finished. I still got to reinforce the body. I got some stuff coming in the mail as far as uh, the inner cage. I'm, I've got a uh, Sentence 6S cage coming for it and side skirts uh, to help support the side of the body. Uh, but anyway, I do have a, uh, I'm running some uh, hoons on it right now. I got a brand new set in the mail the other day that I'm going to put on it, uh, you know, you know, for smooth dirt and, and pavement for some mad drifts and burnouts. But after my dirt uh, video with the infraction, it just inspired me to uh, build this because I've, I've really been getting into a rally especially the group b rally from the 80s i mean it's just hardcore stuff uh and just decided to go ahead and do this my, my original plan was to go with the audi quattro uh, s1 uh shell but they just they just didn't have that in the 1 8 scale so i ended up going with the lancia or the lancia uh, delta body uh, from delta plastics i mean it's a really rigid body i mean it's real thick so it should definitely hold up i'm gonna definitely reinforce this is it just kind of too. a sneak peek of it um in the back here i'll show you i did i did uh throw on some mud flaps I, I basically you know just kind of give it that scale look of the of the uh of the rally cars it's basically just a gorilla tape you know stuck back to back so we'll see how long that holds up i just think it looks kind of cool uh this is actually a t-bone uh, wheelie bar for the 6s truck but makes a perfect skid for the rear and uh it kind of help protect the back of the truck the back of the body right here um on the inside i'll just give you a quick little quick little sneak peek again it's not finished i've got diff setups i've got uh, shock setups to do on it um, it is running uh, Sentin shocks on here that I had and Sentin towers and body mounts. Um, I do have four CVDs all the way around uh, on this car. Um, as far as the motor goes, I'm running my, the uh, Turnigy, uh 4074 uh, 2000 kV motor, the purple motor. I absolutely love this motor. I run this in my uh, V4 Typhon too, and it just absolutely rips. I mean, it screams. It's really fast. And a big shout out to Aaron Recker from Great Lakes RC. Uh, this uh, he hooked me up with this uh, ESC. Uh, so big shout out to you, buddy. Appreciate it. I mean, she found a perfect home, and uh, you know, can't wait to get this thing going. But um, again, I've got the Sentin parts coming for it, and uh, and I've got to do a you know a complete tune to the actual car. I've been doing a lot of studying as far as how to uh, you know set it up for drifts. Um, I'm going to probably put uh, you know have where I can throw in a locking diff uh, for for mad drifts and stuff like that. So. But anyway, I thought I'd give you a quick little sneak peek of it. Uh, so be looking out for a video on that soon uh, once I get it finished. And uh, hopefully hopefully we'll be able to get out. But all right, guys, I just wanted to give do a quick little uh, sneak peek and bench video. And uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> Not a bad launch. Let's measure that one out real quick. 
Again, we got to 160. Got 180. 190. Got 192, 193, yeah, 193. 193 feet, so we're not far from uh, 200 is my goal, so we're getting it. Pretty good uh, shock shaft test. Oh, man, blew a tire in midair. Ah. Uh. <laughs>